Okay guys, so this is my take on a super creepy zombie. So keep watching if you're interested in how I got this look. First, I'm gonna start with a clean face. Scary already. And I'm gonna use L'Oreal Paris's liquid powder. And I'm just putting this foundation all over my face. This is a really pale foundation. After I've applied that all over my face, I'm gonna actually use some baby powder and a powder brush. And I'm just going to be applying that over my foundation to kind of make my face more pale and dead looking. So I'm just packing that on. After I've finished that step, your face, you're going to use natural latex or you could use an eyelash glue. Either will work. And I'm going to be creating a wound. I don't really like using the fake skin, so I'm kind of just using a Q-tip and patting that latex on an area on my forehead, or you could do this on your cheek or any other area that you would like. When you finish that step, next I'm gonna go in with this BH palette, and I'm gonna go in with the black color. You can use any black matte shadow. It doesn't have to be this brand. And I'm using a thicker blending brush, and I'm gonna be contouring my cheekbones to kind of hollow me out with that black. So I'm going to be doing this on both sides of my face, just to give me that dead look. Blend, blend, blend. On both sides, as dark as you would like it. So after I finish that step, I'm going to be using that same brush, and I'm going to kind of make dark circles underneath my eyes using that same black eyeshadow. So I'm just blending that out. After that, I'm going to go with a little bit of a smaller brush to hollow out the insides of my eyes with that black shadow. So you're going to do that on both eyes. I'm going to work these lines down from the crease of my nostrils. After this, I'm taking more of a black pencil brush and I'm going to create a vein look in the top of my forehead on both sides. I had to skip over that area where the glue is on that side. So from here, going back in with that blending brush, and I'm gonna do some shading on the temples of my face on both sides to give me some depth. I look really like an old woman right now, actually. <laughs> So from here, I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to start blending out these lines. So they're not just so like defined lines. They look a little bit more like wrinkles, but I blend them out. Now I'm going to go on this palette and that same black color. I'm applying this all over the lid a little above my crease. This does not need to be neat. That's the fun of this look. So just go all over your eyelid and right above your crease on both eyes. From here, I'm going in with the deep burgundy color from the same palette and I'll apply that in the crease area on both eyes. Don't worry about being perfect. Obviously zombies did not look perfect. So as dark as you would like to go. I'm gonna go back in with black and now I'm going to start to work it under my eyes with that same brush on both sides. You can do this as thick as you like. So from here, I'm going to do some contouring on my neck. You don't have to do this step, but it just gives you a little more of a dead look. So I'm going along the sides of my throat. And then just around my neck where it sinks in a little bit to give it a dead look. From there, I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush and this red color from the same palette. And I'm going to go underneath of where I did the black under my eye. It's going to really make my eyes look pretty creepy. Dragging that down pretty far. Then I'm going to use that blending brush and that burgundy color 
and I'm just dragging these lines underneath of my face and going over where I did the black before. Starting to look dead yet? Ooh. So from here, I'm gonna move on to the lips. I'm using a lip brush and this paint kit from Hardy City. I'm gonna mix the black and the red together so I can get like a deep plum color almost. And I'm gonna blend these two together on my lips. Or if you have a lipstick, that's that color. That'll work too. So I'm just putting that all over until I get the color that I want. From here, I'm gonna take tweezers and I'm gonna start picking away at where I place that latex, just in the center. So that's gonna look like the open wound. So this is just like a glue and you're just taking the tweezers and you're pulling it away from the center so that it looks like a wound hole. It may look like it hurts, but it doesn't. So once I have that open, I'm going back in with that burgundy color and a blending brush and I'm gonna start placing it all over the latex around the wound. I'm gonna add a little bit of black and a little bit of red to this as well, to the look that I want to achieve for my wound. So next we're going to move on to the fake blood, which you can get at the Halloween store or Party City. And I'm gonna be using a Q-tip and placing it over top of the area that I just placed the shadow and make my wound look bloody. So I got a little impatient and I just put like a huge glob and kind of tilted my head and let it fall down. Next I got color contacts and I'm going to be putting them in but I'm not going to do it on video because it's creepy. So once I have my zombie contacts in, I'm going to be adding blood accents to my mouth and around my teeth, which it didn't stay on my teeth at all but all underneath my mouth to make me look pretty messy, like I've eaten somebody. These contacts made my eyes water like crazy because I don't usually wear them, so just be alarmed if you don't wear them. They could be a little irritating. Take some getting used to. So just have fun with that blood. Next I'm gonna take my hair out and add some baby powder to make it look like it's all dried up and like dirt's in it. And just tassel it around a little bit so it looks like I just came from the ground or wherever. Just make it look as messy as you'd like. And there you have it, your creepy zombie look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not really into scary looks, this one probably isn't for you. Um, but that's the fun of Halloween. So I hope you like it and keep checking my channel for more videos to come. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.